a 20 liter backpack won't do it, a 30 liter backpack probably won't do it either. You need to go bigger. Let's chat about the Peak Design's 45 liter travel bag and find out if it's your next travel bag. Hey fam, manga kapatid, I'm Mike, nurse photographer and videographer, and I make videos about camera gear and camera tutorials for new photo and video shooters. I'm giving you the pros, cons, my overall experience, how I chose this bag over the Peter McKinnon travel bag, as well as my recommendations. And before we get into it, as a disclaimer, I did buy this bag of my own money, and I did not get sent this bag from Peak Design. So everything, my opinion, my thoughts, experience, all good. So this bag is part of the Peak Design travel bags. There are bigger bags compared to their everyday bags. If you're more of a duffel bag person, they have that style for travel as well. But I prefer backpacks, so I settled for the 45 liter version. All right, let's discuss some pros. There are three methods of access. Front, back, and sides. I enjoy the everyday backpack, but for the convenience of compartmentalizing everything and having access, I opted for this bag for its back access and flat lay organization. If you prefer side access, you can ignore your back access for a while and just go on the side, or you just do both. I hardly access anything from the front, but if you're in a pinch, you could open it from there. The zipper locks. Just like in their other bags, like the everyday backpack, you got extra layer of protection for your gear from prying hands. If you're not using the one side of your backpack for access, like I am on the right side, yeah, I just lock it up. Yeah, no need for metal locks, you're good. Hip straps and sternum straps. The more space you have to fill, tendencies, you're gonna fill it regardless of whether or not the bag is compressed or not. Going for a hike? Perfect! The hip strap and sternum strap come at no extra cost. Also, there are additional mounting points for you to go ahead and just strap things in, whether it's like a quilt, uh, could be a jacket. This is similar to their other bags. If you're all packed up inside or not, you can continue to add carry through outside mounting. And there's also, you can also mount stuff on the bottom if you wanna do a tripod down there instead of the side pockets here, which you can also use for water bottles. One of the biggest things I appreciate about this bag is its modular packing styles. You can use camera cubes, small, medium, large, packing cubes for your clothes, small, medium. Us guys, we don't multitask, we compartmentalize. So this is perfect. Straps are padded pretty well enough for me. I've been using this for over a year and it's still, yeah, good condition for me. If the bag is too heavy for me, I don't rely on the straps. It's really just as kind of like a placeholder. And I just use more of the waist straps to help bear most of the weight. On my straps, I include a capture clip because, well, you can. Another thing about the straps is that as you adjust it, you don't really have anything flying around. You keep it nice, sleek, and clean on the strap within itself. Another thing to note about the bag is that it's got multiple carrying styles as it has many hand grips. You got it from the top, half from the sides, the bottom, or even straight from the back. I did say that this was a 45 liter bag. Well, the whole thing right now is compressed at 35 liters, but it also expands another 10 liters in the back here. Oh, I mean, it doesn't look like that much, but it does fit more. I will usually just fit my gimbal or winter jacket in here. In terms of my experience, aside from using the Peak Design capture clip to my backpack straps, I pack this thing with a medium camera cube, which usually lives at the bottom of my bag and I usually never take it out. The top I keep compressed and I just toss in my tech pouch with my accessories there. Towards the front of my bag, I usually have some little knickknacks that just live in there like hand sanitizer, pens, toothbrush, toothpaste, and maybe just even anything extra. Oh, I have a comb. I treat this thing like an everything bag. This is marketed as a travel bag, but this is easily my date bag as well. Although the shape of this is bigger than I'd like to have it, functionality is not a problem as I fit what I need to fit in here when I'm not carrying lots of gear. I just compress the bag and it's compact enough for me. As a travel bag, I've taken this to weekend trips across the States, even internationally to the Philippines. I end up using this thing as a camera bag with lenses, camera bodies, microphones, and other accessories. Then I end up using a suitcase for my clothes. On an airplane, if there is room, I stick this thing in the overhead compartment. But when there isn't, I endure my tall people problems and just squish this thing fully expanded, 45 liters, under the seat in front of me. And I just deal with the cramped space. So uh, that's where the 45 liter does have a disadvantage. I lose out on 45 liters worth of legroom. That's okay, it's okay. If you do plan to use this as your sole travel bag without a suitcase, I can vouch that you can use this bag with a weekend full of clothes and pack a kit or two of camera and lenses. So you can have confidence about having a single bag carry for your overhead bin space and claim your 45 liter legroom for your flight. 
If you're the kind of person to hike more than fly, I believe this could be my next backpacking bag. I recently went on a three day, 15 mile backpacking trip with a Copen Wandern 45 liter backpack. And after weighing it, it came out to 38 pounds without my two cameras and lenses, which would probably add another five pounds. So after the trip, I tried to see how well I was able to fit everything into this Peak Design bag. And I have to say that it did, and I liked it. Although I primarily use this bag to carry my camera gear, I actually wasn't able to fit any camera gear for the backpacking arrangement, except the accessories on the bag or in the bag. So as a workaround, I would just use my two Peak Design camera straps and just mount my cameras to my left and to my right. Although this bag does come with a waist strap and center strap, you may just want to consider ordering a Rainfly bag to cover if you anticipate, well, the elements. And last but not least, if you're a hardcore traveler, one of the greatest things that you're going to appreciate about not only this bag, but Peak Design is its customer service. If your travel lifestyle wears down your bag hard enough, Peak Design can and will replace your entire bag through their lifetime warranty. I don't expose my travel bag under much elements, so I do believe that my bag will last a lifetime. All right, all right, all right. So enough of the praise. Let's talk about the cons. Overpacking. Although one of the strengths of this bag is its capacity, it can easily be its downfall. You see, even though it does come with the support with sternum straps and hip straps, it's very easy to overpack, weigh yourself down, and as a nurse, I'm quite familiar with how valuable our packs are. So 45 liters is a blessing, but it can easily turn into a curse. So pack with what you need and don't go overboard with the gear. Another thing that I don't like about this bag is the price. It's $299.95 for the price for just the bag. Yes, just the bag. You still gotta pay for the extra stuff to maximize the functionality of it all. This thing doesn't come with dividers, so you have to buy the compartments or the cubes. You only get the dividers with the camera cubes. For the average photo and video person looking at this bag, you're at least gonna get a medium sized camera cube. Camera cubes cost from $49.95 for the smallest to $89.95 for the largest. You can already get a decent camera bag with that kind of money. And this is just a cube. So if you get this Peak Design travel bag with the medium camera cube, you're already looking at $369.90. But let me tell you how I chose this bag over the Peter McKinnon's travel bag. These two bags are very similar in how they hold up to the weather, the kinds of cameras and accessories and tools that they can fit. But these are the deal breakers for me between the two of them. Pockets. Yes, even without the Peak Design camera cubes and accessories for the bag, there are still more small pockets in this bag than the Peter McKinnon bag. The Peter McKinnon bag already comes with dividers and pockets, but what if I just have a lot more smaller stuff? In regards to price, the Peter McKinnon bag is $399.99, $100 more than the Peak Design travel bag. Although it does come with dividers already, is the cost of the device worth $100? I'd still rather go with this one. I still believe the Peter McKinnon bag is still a great bag, but this one just carries more stuff. And I like the way that it carries. But let me know though, what kind of camera bag are you currently using? If you've already decided on getting this bag, I recommend getting the Peak Design Capture Clip, Medium Camera Cube, and you can always choose whether or not you wanna have a small packing cube up there or a tech pouch. And if you're hiking, consider the Rainfly. For you beginners out there, I recommend just going for an everyday backpack first before considering a travel bag unless you're gonna try to use this for, well, everything, just like I am. For the travelers, as you travel often, you may want this bag to be your one and only bag, and you can do that. As for me, I still wind up bringing a suitcase for just my clothes. And if I need to, I just offload some of my camera gear into my travel bag. And if I need to offload some of my camera gear from my travel bag, I just put tripods and lights right into my suitcase. If you plan on traveling for photo and video work, perhaps buying a Pelican case would be a better investment for you to lug around your gear. Again, save your bag. For the price of this travel bag, its cubes and other accessories, you can afford something like a Pelican 1535 that you can take with you as a carry-on and buy some locks for it too. If you're still contemplating small carry, at this time of this video, Peak Design just released their 30 liter version of this travel bag, which I probably would have settled with as an everyday backpack. Eh, it's okay. My 45 liter backpack can also compress itself down to 30 liters, so if I need to trim down a bit, not a problem. If you're the kind of person who doesn't pack as much and is heavy, and want to save some money, the 30 liter version of this bag may be the one you want to check out. I'll link to that in the description. Again, this isn't Peak Design's only bag though. Click over here to see my video on the Peak Design Everyday Backpack. Thanks again for watching. I'm Mike, reminding you to shoot for the life that matters. See ya.